Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a cable tester for basic network troubleshooting. Now this right here is a Sperry 64202 cable tester that you can get online or the big box stores for somewhere around $30. They have much cheaper versions of testers, they're not Sperry's, but you can get it for as little as, as like maybe $11 or $12 online. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to pretend that this is our wall outlet in some area of an office and that this is our back room patch panel. All right, I'm gonna move you in a little closer and we'll start the demonstration. All right, so let's say we're having trouble with our wall outlet. So we take our little tester and we've got two parts to it. We got a part that generates the power that goes out over the wires and then we've got the receiver that shows us the quality of the connection. Now I wanna emphasize right here that I'm talking about a cable tester. All this does is just test the pairs. This is not a certifier. So this doesn't test to see whether the cable is CAT5 or CAT6 or how fast it can go. All this is doing is just testing the physical metal connections of each wire between point A and point B. So we begin by uh, taking a patch cord. I got a couple of little uh, like six inch patch cords just for this. Plug that into one end of the tester. It doesn't really matter which goes on which end. However, when you're working with a network cable, you need it to be um, disconnected from the network. So if you suspect that this other end of this jack is, is going to a patch panel that's connected to a switch, you need to get that unplugged. If you're have, having trouble identifying it, see my video about tracing out live cables. All right, so you get that there. Then I take um, the other end and another patch cord and plug it in and plug it into the respective spot on the patch panel. So this is actually on the patch panel on port 5. So I'm going to plug into port 5 here. All right, so now I'm plugged in. So again, pretend with me. The, the white jack is at an office somewhere in your building, and the patch panel is back in a server room. And this white cable is, you know, could be like a 60, 80, 100 foot cable between your jack and your patch panel. So what I do then is I turn on this device right here, which sends power over the wires. As that power travels over the wires, it makes a round trip, and it validates that each one of these pairs where the light's turning green is valid. So if I do this and I'm seeing, you know, a one, two, you know, one, two, three, four sequence like that with the lights, then that means my cable is good. Now let's see what happens when we see something other than the one, two, three, four green sequence like that. All right, now I've deliberately done something to, to damage the wire. Turn this on. Now I'm only getting one, two, three. Now each one of these little lights it's got like a 1, 2, a 3, 6, a 4, 5, a 7, 8. That's telling you which pairs or which pins in the jack that are being tested. Now right now I'm not getting a light on 7 and 8. Well I know that in 568A and 568B wiring, pin 7, 8 is the brown pair. So what I would do is I would start by looking at my jack and looking at my patch panel to make sure that those are, are punched down correctly or even re-punching my jack if needed. Now this is over exaggerated obviously, but as I can see, my brown pair is broken. So one lead of the brown pair has come off. So what this tool is helping me find out is that I've got a broken pair. All right. If I was still having trouble with my network connection, but all of these were green in that in that one, two, three, four sequence, that would tell me that I need to look elsewhere for my problem, not the cable. All right, I'm gonna repair that, but I'm also gonna do something a little different so we can see um, a different kind of uh, error that we'll, we'll notice on the tool. Okay, we're back. Now in this scenario, I've deliberately uh, set up a common kind of problem that happens. Let's say you just had um, a technician at your site that installed a new cable, but it's not working right. So they should have tested this, but on the off chance that maybe they didn't, you use your little tester and you find out that you've got this pattern over here that's kind of jumping around. So it's not going sequentially, one, two, three, four, it's kind of bouncing around. And you look at the jack, and everything looks okay there. The wiring looks fine there, but let's take a look at the patch panel. So on the patch panel, what we can see has happened is, if you look from left to right, we've got blue, green, orange, brown. Well, that's actually not the pattern for a 568B jack. And this, the reason this sometimes happens is because there's two ways to wire jacks, 568A and 568B. And networks tend to go back and forth sometimes and so you have a situation sometimes where when a technician is busy or not paying attention, they accidentally wire one side as a B style and one side as an A style. 
All right, so there's one last scenario I wanna show you that you can see, and we'll be right back for that. Okay, we're back. I changed one more scenario, and this is another common thing that happens with, with newly installed cables. So we're again, we're testing from the wall of the patch panel, and we turn on the power, and look at this. I'm getting green, green, red, green. So it's in sequence, but I'm getting a red light. Well, what the red light, and there's even like a key right here, it says it's a reversal. So what that means is that is that one of the sets of wires, like here is telling me it's pins four and five, which are the center two. I know that's blue. It means they're reversed. So if I look on the patch panel, and I can check the way that the wiring was done, I can see that it's in the right order, but if you look at the very first pair there on the left, I've got the solid blue followed by the white blue, and it's supposed to be the other way around. All right, so the three different things you're gonna see with that tool to sum it up is you're either gonna see a missing light, which is gonna tell you that uh, one of the wires is broken. If you get no lights, it either means you're testing out the wrong jack or the jack has been completely severed, um, or you could get the lights out of sequence, which means that the wiring has been punched down out of sequence on you know one side or the other. Um, and then you can get the red light, which means that you've got um, a reversal. All right, so if you are a network administrator, this would probably be a pretty good investment for you to spend the, the 10 to $30 to get one of these to test out cables. In general, cables usually don't go bad on their own. After you know 20 years in the field, the thing I see the most often is sometimes what will happen is you have a jack in the wall and water will drip down the wall and drip on the jack. I've seen that happen and so the jet, you know, eventually it corrodes. Uh, the other one I've seen happens is sometimes when new network uh, additions are made and they're working on the patch panel, sometimes what happens is when they're working on the patch panel is they stress other cables in the, in the adjacent area. So if I was adding cables here, sometimes the act of adding new cables will stress these and cause one of these connections to come undone. Um, and then the last one, which is pretty rare, which is just plain old, you know, uh, brute trauma, like a cable cut or you know somebody doing something uh, to the to the cable while it's in transit between the the wall jack and the patch panel. All right, so I hope that helps you out and please feel free to leave comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.